there's a lot of things that make a base a desirable base, something you might want to own. And uh, I was thinking about this as we were warming up for the video. This base has got several important elements. I hope you agree when you listen to the jazz and when you listen later to uh, Chris playing some arco on it, on this bass. This is a good sounding instrument. It is strong. It's got strength in the low register. It is even and it continues to sing up high. So it's a really good sounding bass. And the other thing that's going for it is it is downright beautiful. So let's take a look. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So starting up at the top, as usual, there's some nice flame grain for you. This is a base we set up. Uh, you know, we bought it, um, what would you say, Unre unregulated. So we've installed these tuning machines. We thought this was a really good base, so we put these uh, French-style machines that show all the wood. Turn it around and show you the other side. A little antiquing. And I'll tell you what, the varnish is something to really brag about on this one. The uh, antiquing that we saw there, there, we're just taking a look at the neck. Interesting grain, very slender neck. And I think the word very is not an overstatement. Uh, this is uh, more slender than uh, maybe some people would expect, but it's a great feeling uh, neck and a good solid thick fingerboard on top of it. So let me turn it around here. It's a little bit hard for you to see, but I, I often talk about how the uh, annual rings ought to stack up straight. I've never seen one more perfect than this, and it's long. This particular des base design, the Tosca, has a long um, heel, and it's just dynamo. And uh, some nice antique work is done in there, but take a look, start taking a look at the body on this base. Beautiful flames. I mean, the flame wood, uh, the flamed maple on this thing is just out of this world. And the varnish on this base is also out of this world. This is a, an Italian style oil varnish that's done with some very tasteful, very beautiful antique work. So if you just look at this surface here, you see it's just a little bit lighter, a little bit of shading going on here, and um, if we look at the back, you know, it's subtle, but this is not exactly shading. This is something different. This is a level of antique work, honestly, you would rarely see in a new instrument because this is the type of thing that happens through the years. Here is varnish applied, removed, and you can feel and see the little edge here where it's, um, you know, something happened, theoretically, and then it's patched over. So varnished, damaged, and repaired. That's what's going on here. And this whole section down the middle, as if the base had been laid on its back for a while. Um, <clears throat> it's the kind of work we just never see here. It's beautiful. Uh, a little shading here, and um, the grain is so fine on the top, I'm not sure that the camera can really scope in on, but uh, you know, it's, it's distinct in this area. I would say the biggest space I'm seeing between grain lines is a sixteenth of an inch, and then other places it gets um, closer than that. So 20 lines per inch on the average, something like that, and it just goes, actually it's a little wider out here. I don't see any eighth of an inch, but more than a sixteenth, and it goes in, and here, oh, you know, this is like 30 lines per inch across here in the middle. Extremely fine, rare piece of wood on the top. And then the last thing I want to say about the, um, the varnish, I'll throw in la one last tidbit. I was talking with the maker really just last month, and I was shocked when I learned that the top coat that's put on this uh, varnish sequence is actually made from amber. So I don't know uh, any details about how do you take amber and convert it into a varnish that's applied, but this top coat is actually made from amber.
This base has dots on it. And uh, we did this for uh, an event in Los Angeles, Bass Player Live. These are just painted on, so I want to assure you that, um, although they help me play, if you don't want them on your bass, they come off easily. I'd like to point out that this bass has uh, an unusual pickup, and it's a kind of an expensive one, too. Um, this is the Wilson pickup, K4, and the 4 just indicates that it's uh, the four elements. And um, if you wanted to get the bass with the pickup, wonderful. If you would like to get the bass without the pickup, uh, we would cut a new bridge because there are holes drilled through here for this one. So let's take a listen and uh, see how Chris makes the bass sound with a bow. Hello. For this uh, Sunrise Golden Age Tosca, I will be playing some long tones in a scale, followed by orchestral and solo passages. <laughs> 